Hi guys, Mike here again. Welcome back to Hope is Alive channel. Today I've got a favorite friend of mine all the way from Ghana, Pastor Stephen. So listen to his message. He's going to pray for us all at the end. Uh, enjoy. Bless. So hello, I'm Stephen Norte. I'm from Ghana. And I get a privilege of pastoring a church in Ghana, Aquipus, Ghana. A few years back, around seven years now, I came to New Zealand uh, through the connection and relationship with some other significant people here in New Zealand. I got the opportunity to be trained and equipped. And uh, after a few months, I got back to Ghana to start the process of planting a church. Really, I believe that the church is God's tool in bringing restoration and hope and transformation to our communities. So somewhere 2018, 2019, what started like a small gathering in my living room, uh, significantly grew over time. Families, relationships were being built and connections with Jesus Christ. We saw Jesus doing amazing things in healing people, in bringing deliverance, but most importantly, bringing restoration. Men and women who uh, were discontent with church, they were hurt with family relationships, they were disappointed, and a sense of hopelessness that was building them, coming into relationship and just doing life together in a place where you are not judged, you are not undermined, but you are just loved on And Whilst that space was being created, Jesus was touching people with his presence. I saw young people believing Jesus for the first time. I saw families who were out of church coming back into love and into connection with Jesus. But I saw, most importantly, the Holy Spirit filling the heart of people. Now, I really tell you, your encounter with the Holy Spirit makes all the difference. You may have arguments, you may have misunderstanding, you may have questions. But no one can really answer those questions than a real experience with the Holy Spirit. And that's really what we, we really trust that as, as we teach God's word, we open our home and love on people. The presence of Jesus, the Holy Spirit, coming to the heart of people, telling and showing them things. No one, no one else can explain it better to you like the Holy Spirit would do. You know, just one story recently. Uh, a young lady who had been out of church, out of uh, family, she she got a baby out of wedlock. She has struggled through life. She was really, really at the verge of committing suicide. She had really put this child somewhere else and uh, so through a connection from one of our church members brought her to a new group, just a small meeting during the week where we just eat and fellowship with each other. In that particular meeting as we were chatting and we we're just speaking about God's word, all of a sudden she started weeping, she started opening up her heart, and she shared her story. We were all tired. I remember all the seven people in that meeting just run, you know, surrounding around her, surrounding her, loving on her, and just praying for her. You know, this lady had been out of church for over five years. She gets back into church again through this particular reunion, goes back for her child, and this is the most interesting part of the story. A few weeks later, where they were staying, they were being ejected. In fact, they were, they were ejected from the place, and she comes to church on Sunday, tells me, Pastor, I have nowhere to go. I have been ejected, and this is where I am with my child. And I told her, don't worry, Jesus is going to, let's pray, let's trust Jesus. Let's see what we could do. I speak to her on, on Sunday. We are looking at things out on Monday to see what will happen. I get a call from a, ch a church member somewhere in uh, excess. We've never talked to her. We've never spoken to anything about her concern, the situation. I was there this morning and Jesus spoke to me that there's a young lady who needs help. And I don't know what it may be, but Pastor, do you have anyone like that who needs help? This will only be Jesus. Yesterday, this young and she, she told me ex exactly. It's a young lady with a child. It's a single mother. And Jesus says that she needs a, she needs help. And as she reached out to her, I said, this can only be God. And this couple reached out to, to, to this particular lady. I connected them together. So yeah, we feel strong in our heart that God wants us to help you. We're going to sort out the accommodation. And the next couple of months, 12 months, I'm going to commit to supporting the start people. The girl broke down with tears. She has never seen that before. She has never been loved. But to think of it, a church family far away at the other part of the world 
to know in the moment of me what a young lady at the other part of the world was going through and to allow themselves to be the arms and the hands of Jesus to reach out to that young lady. This is not coincidence. This could only be God. I tell you what, the life of that young lady has changed. The young, the life of the, the six-year-old child that he ha- she has has significantly been lifted. But this was because somebody reconnected them to faith. Jesus is still restoring people. Jesus is still changing life. So maybe you are listening to me. You might have had issues with church. You might have gone through seasons of discontent. And probably genuinely you may be going through a hard time. I really believe that Jesus is still the same today, yesterday, and forever. And I probably want to invite you to a relationship with Jesus. You want to you want to really come to that place where you want to give the Holy Spirit a chance in your heart to go on a journey of transformation. I am confident that the story you are hearing today might not be a coincidence at all. Probably God is already urging something in your heart. And if you give him a chance, this may be the beginning of another level of your encounter and relationship with the Holy Spirit. So, Probably I may end with a short word of prayer uh, to you who may be listening to me and whatever situation you are. God took me from Africa, brought me into this place to get me equipped, sent me back to Africa, and on a daily basis, I'm seeing lives change. I'm still I'm seeing people healed. I'm seeing people delivered. I'm seeing God and tuning to families and community. Jesus is the same today, yesterday, and forever, and He's the same in your life if you give Him a chance. So wherever you are, I pray God's grace upon you. I pray the peace of God rest upon your hope. I pray really that the Holy Spirit will fill you with such with such awesome experience of His presence. And maybe if you are listening to me and you want to make Jesus, you want to say, Jesus, I open my heart to you and I really want you into my heart again. I pray for you. And right now, Jesus is coming into your heart as you, as you open up. It's Jesus, I welcome you. I welcome you again into my heart. And I want to go on this journey with you, Jesus. I pray for anyone listening to me. You are going through a, a situation in your body. You feel a bit hurt. I'm talking about pain in your body. It's a disease condition. I pray that Jesus touches your body right now in Jesus' name. And for those who are broken hearted, disappointed, hurt by relationship, I pray that the healing of the Holy Spirit will touch your heart and every broken heartedness be healed right now in Jesus' name. So we bless you with the blessings of God. We pray that heaven look favorably upon you. We pray that you experience the love of the Father. And we pray that the countenance of God shine on you wherever you are. The Lord loves you. We love you here. And all the best. Greetings once again from Ghana. And see you soon. Bye for now. Hey. Thanks very much for watching Hope is Alive channel. To watch more videos, don't forget to subscribe and click over here or just down there or just there over my shoulder or just up to the right of my head. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Send to your friends.